Hey, how's it going? I'm back in the office, even though I'm not working today. I've pretty much cleared this six level terrace system now. I've just got to rake up these leaves into the bags. On this level, with the little house, there used to be, well, there was an outhouse here with a lot of stuff in it. Just, it looked like just junk on first inspection, but uh, the guy who owns it now, he's who I'm working for, he said, um, just take it all away, take it all to the tip. There's a water source on the bottom level. And when we first arrived here, we found a 600 watt mains operated water pump just sat on the edge of the cliff here. That's the second level that you can see down there. And they were pumping water from the source on the bottom level up to the second level. And I said, look, if you're gonna throw that pump away, do you mind if I take it home and I'll see if it works and if it does, I can, I can use it. And he said, yeah, sure, fine. And I took it home, plugged it in, and only for a second just to see if there was life in it, but it, it's got life in it. So I'm gonna take it apart and clean it and hopefully it's gonna work properly. And um, you know, this is the garden hose for it, a 20 or 30 meter hose. And then there's this, that's part of the pump as well. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to use that to, to irrigate our garden once we get it up and running because we've got a, like a sort of semi underground, yeah, like a little cavern that fills with water over time. And uh, I'm gonna use the pump and these hoses to bring the water up. This is like a 200 litre just a, a big plastic tub, 200 litres, I think, estimate. And I'm going to fill that at the top of the garden and then I can use that to irrigate crops once we've got them. So again, he doesn't want that. He's just, he's just throwing it away, so I've taken it. All of this stuff here, this is basically the stuff that I've decided I was going to throw away, but I've decided it's, it's useful to me. Do you know what I mean? There's all this timber that was the structure. There's some rusty old tools here for, um, you know, cement work. So, you know, that's pretty rusty, but I think I can clean these up, right? I just need one of those wire brush drill attachments and I can completely clean these tools up, get them working again. Perfectly functional, what is that, a caulking gun, you know, for silicon sealant and things like that. Needs a new handle, but it's a nice head really solid pair of loppers you know it's a gift it's a gift from the universe the absolute um the prize like you know we call this stuff treasure right you're in this line of work and you just you just sorting around crap you just you, you find treasure and it's you feel like a little kid it's exciting right but this is the the absolute golden nugget is this is a charge controller for a solar power system and I know I've already shown it in the picture, but that solar panel down there, well, this is a really nice solar panel. It's much nicer than the one that I had in the woods that I never actually got around to hooking up. I still own that one, but it's just, it's in France, but it's in the wrong part of France. I will get to it eventually, but this, I've got this now. So that's, uh, that's coming soon, which I was saying the whole time I was in the woods, oh, it's coming soon, it's coming soon, but I will actually be able to do it now. Now that I'm, you know, earning money, I can get the battery I need. I think another prize discovery was this. This is an octagonal cross-section iron bar. It's, um, if you're not familiar with, with this kind of stuff, this is like everything you need for stabbing holes in the ground, for fence posts, breaking up masonry. That is an incredible tool. When I found that, I said to myself, I can't just take this stuff without asking. I've got to offer it to the guy I'm working for and say, technically, this stuff's yours. Are you sure you, you want me to take it all to the tip? And he said, yeah, I've got all the tools I need. He's got a pretty um, substantial workshop up there. It looks like he does a bit of woodworking. And yeah, he said, he said, anything I find that I want is mine. This is the, the thickest and the straightest pieces of the sycamore. There was uh, about 20 sycamores coming off the uh, stump up there. There was another video I showed where I cut them down. I'm gonna build with it almost immediately, but it's gonna have to then season as part of the structure, which I think is legitimate. I think you can do that. It's gonna, what's it gonna do? Shrink by a few percent. So if I build some really accurate, nice structure that you don't want to change shape at all, it's gonna be rubbish for that. But I'm not, I'm building some rough decking in the garden and some steps leading up to it. So I think that's gonna be fine. So that's it really, that's just, um, it's, a, it's like a little bonus, right? I've been paid for my work here. 
but the tools and the materials I've acquired now, which are going to allow me to go on and do other things, whether it's projects in our own garden at home, that I don't need to buy tools now for because I found them, or it's, it's going to be other jobs that I can then go on and earn more money. You know, I didn't come here, I didn't come here to Avalon to escape from anything. You know, I followed my heart and I followed the signs, but it is like a, like a sort of a congratulations from the universe. That's how it feels. Because it was a long time that I was living on an absolute shoestring budget. And I had ideas, I had plans and I had big dreams. But the world we live in being what it is, you do need means to go about achieving these things. You do need money. And I don't think I've ever had a bad relationship with money, not that I've been consciously aware of. And another thing that, that I'm aware of is that your fortunes are like a pendulum in anything, whether it's love or money or work or anything. It's like it swings one way and it, it'll swing back the other way in time to the same extent. And we have a hard time accepting abundance as well, especially if we're, if we're the type of person, you know, you put yourself down, you think you're not ready, you think you're not capable, you think you're not, not enough. So much of it boils down to that, right? I'm not enough. But I guess what I wanna say is for people who are still in that kind of situation where self-doubt is your, your baseline, feeling maybe negative self-talk and it still gets me every now and then but then you know I just I wake up I snap out of it and I realize where I am I realize how much time we spent talking about and thinking about and, and planning how this was going to happen and here we are you know we're in Avalon and just the name of the place that magical name it's highly symbolic highly symbolic to me personally, Avalon, it's what it represents, it's what it stands for, it's a state of mind, it's a state of consciousness, right? It's a state of awareness. So the purpose of this video is just to show gratitude and share my joy in what I've been given. And just to say, you know, to whatever is listening out there and whoever's listening out there that there's no way we're fucking this up you know everything ultimately is working out for the best you've just got to believe in it you've just got to believe that your higher self will not put you in any position that isn't ultimately preparing you for something so Thank you for watching. I'm going to load all this gear into the van. I'm going to take it home and immediately start constructing some shelves because I need somewhere now to keep all my treasure. <laughs>